This is the zone, the art zone. I'm Bronson and today we're going to create some very remarkable arts and crafts. We will only use materials found around the house and the natural world. You will be amazed how easy it is to create with things you usually throw out. Today we are going to hook up with Kimmy, be artistic, creative and resourceful. I'm going to show you how to collect materials, build a house and some wonderful guests are going to drop by. Let's get into the zone. <laughs> Welcome to the Art Zone. Today we're going to be creating a puppet. You're going to need material, a sock, needle and thread, some plastic for stuffing, maybe a little bit of felt, some felts, and some scissors. Make a little pattern if you want, just like this. You're going to fold, put this on the fold. Bronson, you can start on his sock head. Maybe cut that about there, Bronson, and fill it with some, some of this. shredded stuff, and there's an elastic to keep it in. Here's his hair. I just love this fuzzy material to work with. Looks kind of like poncho material kind of thing. A bit, eh? <laughs> Give him nope. a little poncho. What do you know about ponchos? <laughs> that was a 70s thing. But the most important thing is making sure your material is folded on the one side. My head's almost done. A little bit bigger, eh? I think so. I felt so too. So do it a quick way. I'm just gonna grab it, pull it all up. I'm just gonna stick it inside. There we go, it's a little bit bigger. Even bigger, Bronson. Even bigger? I think so. We want to have it. This guy's gonna have one big head. Big braid. <laughs> There it is, all ready. We just have to sew up the sides. We're gonna put a little tiny. And now that's looking good, Bronson. The next step is making a little tube for your index finger, finger in there. Wait, love, I'm gonna put this in the middle. I'm going to roll this cardboard around my index finger. Make sure it fits. I think maybe I better add a bit of tape first. Stick it right in the head. It's his neck. I hold, you put the elastic on. And then uh, I can do it from here. And then maybe you can start adding his hair. And I was thinking, Bronson, how about a few blue streaks in his hair? Okay. This is a collar from a shirt. I'm gonna make him little, some little bell bottoms. There's bell bottoms of his poncho back in the <laughs> 70s. Maybe we should make him a little hat. And some blue thread for his hippie hair. For hair, I'm just gonna grab this yarn and start snipping about two inch pieces off. There's his bell bottoms. Give him some long hippie hair. No. Give him a little short do. Oh, let's, let's make him a, a hat and then just a few little, you know, bangs out there. Okay. And just some out there and then his hat will cover and then hair at the back. Okay, where's I'll the make blue? him a little hat. 
Here's the pocket of a blue jean shirt I've been using for crafts. And for the hair, I'm just gonna circle some glue on the top of his head. Oh, sweet. Start adding them on, <laughs> one at a time. And if you need more glue, you can just add more glue if you really need to. Oh, Rodson, here's something else we need. We need some hands. Just a couple little hands. I'm just going to wait until I get the hands where they go, and then I'm going to start sewing it all together. Odd zone. Odd zone. Odd zone. Odd zone. Odd zone. Well, Bronson, all our parts are ready. Here's our head, fits on our index finger. We've got this happening with our hole in the middle. And guess what's going to go through there? Go ahead. <laughs> all we have to do is sew it on. So, so, so. Now, the first thing we do though, this is how we want it when it's finished. But to sew it, we have to reverse it. And this is the little bit tricky part. You have to put the hands on the inside. inside. Once it's all sewn, then they pop out. Pop and, out like and there's that. your hands. So we've got a lot of sewing to do, Bronson. This guy's there gonna go. watch us. Ready for a race? On, yeah. On your mark. Get that go. go. Oh, I'm gonna cut. Oh, oh there we go. I just gotta get that one knot. Sewing can be quite cumbersome, but there we go. It's an essential when you're doing crafts. And there's nothing wrong with learning how to sew a few stitches. It's just another skill you can master. We have sewn our puppet together, and here he is. What should we name him, Bronson? Hmm. How about Scrappy? Well, that's a good name for him because he's out of scrap material. Ah, there you go. <laughs> you can make any kind of puppet you want. A wizard puppet, an animal puppet, crocodile puppet. And you can create plays for your puppet. And invite friends over and put on performances. You can even make a puppet theater. Yeah, we made a puppet theater. Bronson, why don't you take Scrappy into the puppet theater and give us a performance? My name is Scrappy, so try to clappy. Uh, what the heck? And that's our puppet made here in the art zone. I'm just coming up here, take a look at a nice city in the background. Nice little house. Going to visit Asia to check out her transformer drawer. Ooh, nice little totem pole. Now I'm just going to Asia's house. I'm going to take a look in her transformer drawer. And now I'm going in the building. And now I'm just going up the elevator. Just waiting for this elevator, man. This is taking too long. Oh, wait. There you go. Hey, wait. Elevator's here. I'm just gonna. Number two. There we go. Is this way? Or is it this way? I think it's this way. Now I'm just rolling up to Asia's house. Hopefully she's home. Hi, Bronson. Hey, Asia. How are you? Doing good. Just chilling. Come right on in. Okay. Came, Came to, to check out my transformer drawer. Exactly. Well, it's in our kitchen. Here it is. Oh, you guys got coconut? Yes, we actually ate that a couple days ago. I decided mm. to keep it since you can do something with it. You can always use recycled material. 
Like maybe we can paint it or something. We have paints in here. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? We have popsicle sticks. We have lots of these because the kids around here eat a lot. Yeah. We like popsicles. Yeah, so do I. And we have egg holders. We have two of them. Cool. Not egg quite holders. sure what you can use it for. Oh, almost dropped it. You can use it for something. Uh, your chopsticks. Chopsticks. It looks like you guys eat a lot of Chinese food. Yeah, actually we do. Maybe you can do something with these. Build a fence. Make puppets. Puppets, that's a good one. Well, you can take these if you can use them. Of course I can use these. I can use almost everything I get. Oh, good. And you can even paint them. Paint them? Good idea. Instead of just some plain old chopsticks, you can have some colorful chopsticks. Exactly. So, I'm gonna take, is it okay if I take all this? Oh, go right ahead. These chopsticks and, and I'll take the coconut, the coconut shell. shell. Okay, thanks Asia. You're welcome, anytime. Okay, I'm gonna take these back to the art zone. I'm gonna transform them into something new. This house is completely done. Everything is made from recycled.